This week, I've been training at Moratoglu Academy all in order to transition to clay to play some futures in Antalya, Turkey. Now, because the last video reached the 4,000 light goal pretty quickly, I'm gonna be posting daily vlogs here on the channel of my week. So as you saw, the day started off pretty early. Let's go. We had to drive to Moratoglu, get some breakfast, usually consisting of similar things, baguette, some egg, a yogurt, some fruit, basically getting myself prepared for the sessions to come. We began the day by just digesting the food and waiting for my fitness session by watching some of the match footage of the tournaments that I played with Greece, with Ashley and Lucien. And we basically had a little bit of a debrief before I posted the video later that day. Right, so we've got fitness now uh, at 9.30 with Vashek, who you guys have seen in the previous videos uh, about a year ago. She's actually Cam Norrie's strength and conditioning coach. This was a session to begin the week all about the core activation work at the beginning and then followed by a little strength circuit working the lower and the upper body and making sure that at the beginning of the week we weren't doing anything too fatiguing to the body. Obviously I'm transitioning to clay so some of the movements were specific to the clay that I'm going to be doing and some were just more general strength exercises. So I'll let you have a watch of some of the exercises and workout that we were doing. lunch. I've got tennis in about an hour and a half so I'm gonna leave some time to digest. Um, I'm on the clay. I've only got one tennis session today but I might top it up with a session with Ashley. Um, I've got some fruit, um, keeping it pretty simple, some fast acting carbs and some chicken and some potatoes. I did some strapping on my arm making sure that I was prepared and then I jumped into the gym to do a physical warm-up for around 15 to 20 minutes before my session. Now a lot of you guys have been asking what I do specifically before my sessions so I'm going to be posting a members video for our YouTube channel members all about my warm-up routine, what's important, what I do, how I do it and for how long. So go and join if you're interested in watching those types of videos on there. But quickly we're going to take a quick break from my day and talk about the Fuzzy Yellow Balls singles playbook. Now obviously preparing for tournaments on clay courts, I'm going to need some tactics and some plays that I want to be running on the courts to be able to maximize my chances of winning. I've talked about this in the past, so you know I definitely recommend it. It's the Fuzzy Yellow Balls playbook. Front page, you get a table of contents, and essentially what it is, it tells you what tactics to put out against different types of players to try and beat them and have the highest odds of winning those points. For example, let's take a look at one. So on page 11, it talks about beating the pusher. As you can see, it's simply lined out exactly what the different plays are. And in the top right-hand corner, there's a QR code, which you can scan. And Will from Fuzzy Yellow Balls, we're good friends. He will run you through exactly what it means how to execute it in the best way possible and how to get the best results. So as you can see, there's a pretty thick book. So there's loads of plays against different types of players. So there'll be something for everyone. So go check out the Fuzzy Yellow Balls playbook. There'll be a link down in the description. I'd highly recommend it. So go check it out. And now let's go jump back into the video. Now that it was time for my first session on the clay, I was playing with a guy called Carlos. Unfortunately, not Carlos Alcaraz, but I was with coach Chris, who you guys will have seen in the last few more Toglu vlogs that I was here. We knew it was going to be a little bit hectic, a little bit rusty from the, the ball timing perspective. I felt like the ball was jumping up very high. It's a very different bounce to a hard court when you're playing. The ball's going to bounce higher. It's going to be a bit slower. It's going to react more to spin in a different way. So I was really you know, enjoying the, the challenge of trying to adjust to the courts. What didn't help was that it was a little bit of a crosswind on the court, so the ball was being pulled slightly, which um, you know made it really, really very important to you know have lots of little steps when you're hitting the ball. The structure of the session was rallying up and down the middle. The consistency towards the beginning wasn't that good, so we decided to go into more of a drilling situation, maybe two cross one line, or I was spaced in one corner and going two to Carlos's forehand, two to Carlos's backhand. We basically did a variation of drills, working on trying to be consistent, aiming for good height and shape over the net. Towards the end of the session, we transitioned to more of basket feeding basket drills so maybe six balls eight balls 12 balls where you're hitting forehands moving out wide to the forehand or perhaps backhands and inside out forehands basically working on getting lots of repetition on the shots and aiming for big targets on the court this was a time that I felt that I was really able to find 
you know, a rhythm of moving on the play rather than focusing on how the ball was coming off the strings. It was more setting up to the ball, hitting it, recovering, which was all a little bit new to me on the clay. So that was great to kind of hit loads of volume in that sense to, to really get a feeling for the court. And overall, I think the first session was very positive. So straight after that tennis session, we went to the gym to do a cool down, five, 10 minutes on the bike, followed by some stretching just to help the muscles relax and cool down after a session. And on top of that, straight after my cool down, I actually had a physio session, which was great, where I was working on some exercises for my arm in this stage of my recovery, um, a little bit of a massage to make sure that, you know, my arm's staying loose, that it's not getting too fatigued and sore as the week goes on, which is super important. And overall, just making sure that I was taking care of my arm to make sure that I had no pain which after the first session I didn't, which was great. Yes guys, so I finished my sessions for the day. I finished one tennis session, gym session and physio session. Um, I'm now actually watching Lucien uh, over there and Ashley over there hit some balls on the show court, UTS court here at Moratog. Lucien's hitting the ball well. I reckon after a good week of training, we might be in for a second row 20 to P-point series. Leave a like on this video if you want to see Lucien row 20 to P-point. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy the tennis going on here. Lucian was playing amazingly, hitting the ball well, really playing some amazing points. So um, I'll, I'll leave you to watch a few of them. Dad says it was in. <laughs> no, my dad called it out. <laughs> I'm on another level. 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 In the next more Togli vlog, I'm going to be doing fitness, two tennis sessions, and even filming some crazy videos, including DMing the top 50 ATP pro. So I'll give you guys a sneak peek of all of that stuff. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn notifications on to be notified when that next video comes out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.